Good evening, you're watching The Late News on HKIBC. I'm Harminder Singh. Here are tonight's top stories. Property tycoon Walter Kwok has died. Two people injured after cow car plows into them in mid-levels. Welfare Minister defends plan to demolish training center for the disabled to make way for a civil service college. Former chairman of Sun Hung Kai Properties, Walter Kwok, has died two months after he was hospitalized for a stroke. Kwok was 68. Riley Chan reports. Walter Kwok, along with his younger brothers Thomas and Raymond, inherited control of Sun Hong Kai Properties from their late father in 1990. The company is the largest developer in Hong Kong. The Kwok family is the third richest in Asia, with a combined fortune of around 40 billion US dollars, according to Forbes. Kwok was kidnapped in 1997 and was released after his family paid his kidnappers a $600 million ransom. The former chairman later refuted in an interview that he was diagnosed with depression after the incident, which took one year to recover from. He was the chairman of San Hong Kai until he was ousted from the family business in 2008. Kwok has sought to block the move in court, but it ruled against him. After years of battling for control of the company, the family reached an agreement in 2014, which guaranteed Kwok the same entitlement to shares in San Hong Kai as his brothers. Kwok founded Empire Group Holdings in 2010 and set his sights on Hong Kong and mainland property markets. Kwok suffered a stroke in August and fell unconscious in his mansion. He had been hospitalized at Hong Kong Adventist Hospital since then. The tycoon passed away at the same hospital this morning. He was 68. A mother and her son have been injured after a private vehicle reportedly lost control and plowed into them in mid-levels. After hitting the pair, the car smashed into a railing and ca later caught fire. More from Riley Chan. Video footage from a witness showed black smoke billowing out of a car that crashed into railing outside a housing estate in mid-levels. It caught fire moments later. Firefighters rushed to the scene and battled the blaze. A mother and son were seen receiving emergency treatment on a roadside several meters away. The front of the car was severely burned. Windows were blackened by the smoke. Officers pressed sand on the road to a soft fuel that has spilled. A witness said the vehicle was traveling at high speed. The lady was driving a car and it came through this way. It was in a high, high speed, right? And uh, she was banged in the railing. And I just saw her trapped inside and I just went and uh, rescued her from the uh, driver's seat. The incidents happened at around noon. Reports say that the private car was traveling on Robinson Road in mid-levels when the driver lost control and hit the mother and son who were walking on the pavement. It then slammed into a rail link before catching fire. The pair were conscious when they were admitted to Queen Mary Hospital. The driver of the vehicle wasn't hurt in the incident, but she was also sent to the same hospital. An investigation is underway. Riley Chan, HKIBC. Welfare Chief La Chi Kuang has defended a plan to demolish a training center for the disabled in Kun Tong to build a civil service college in its place. He said current students of the center would not be affected and its replacement will be built at a more convenient location. Karen Yang reports. The Shine Skills Center in Kun Tong has been providing vocational training and career support to the disabled for 50 years. But its long history may soon come to an end. Chief Executive Carrie Lam announced in her policy address last week a new $7 billion civil service college. The government said the school would have to make way in 2021. Various groups and lawmakers have launched a petition protesting the proposal. They were unhappy with the lack of consultation and feared special needs students would be affected. Labor and Welfare Secretary Lo Chi Kuang brushed off criticisms that students would be forced to move. The only uh, cohorts of uh, trainees that may be affected will be those uh, entering Cheney training in 2020, two, two years later. Uh, but then uh, we hope that uh, uh, the new service provider will be uh, in place by 2020. So they would be uh, able to communicate with the 